know, like I'm confused. <laughs> They're still very good living for that. It's like living with a toddler. So if you're What's up you guys? It's me and welcome back to another vlog. I have my tripod right here, but I did not attach the thing. We're going to leave it like this. Okay, we're gonna hope that doesn't fall down. Today I'm planning on taking out my braids, hopefully if I have time. So I wanted to go out with a bang and I did a little strawberry shortcake fantasy. And I actually need to take my ass to the gym, but I'm, I'm not going to go to the gym like this because I just feel like that's not the vibe. And also like imagine sweating all this off, like just like glitter tears falling down my face, like no. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna put on a workout set tomorrow, you guys. I have an Orange Theory class. I am so excited, but I am on my period and I have taken a Tylenol today. So I'm trying to suck it up and just power through. I was having like arthritis problems in my hands and my knees the other day. I'm honestly just gonna go do like a light little 12, 3, 30. It might end up being, you know, 10, 3, 25. I haven't gone to the gym in a hot minute. I'm not gonna lie. I am curious to see what my body does when I get in there right now, but I do need to go because I wanna go before five o'clock when everybody gets off of work. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with weights because honestly, I know that tomorrow's Orange Theory class is gonna kick my whole ass. Um, and I don't wanna be any type of sore besides like the normal amount from the treadmill. So <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick little workout like that just to like kind of get my blood flowing. And then tomorrow is the kick ass day. So let me go change to workout and let's go do 12 through 30. guys it is currently eight o'clock on the dot actually i just got back home i worked out i actually ended up going to f45 i've never been before ever i didn't even know it existed my dad actually put me on oh my gosh if you guys are wondering what that background noise is I found a channel with this samsung tv if you guys don't know or if you guys have a samsung tv tell me if yours does this too i got my tv from costco and they have like channels that are just automatically programmed into the tv i don't have cable at all but i have like automatic channels that came with the tv and i found this channel yesterday you guys it's literally a yule log and it just plays all the time but anyway i went to f45 because i put my information in one of my managers was going to go and i told her i was going to go with her but then i chickened out at the last minute so i did not end up going so i ended up calling them back and i just physically went today to schedule my appointment so i scheduled my appointment they seemed really nice i was telling her about my concerns with my health um i was telling her about like my overall athleticism in general it's not very far i'm not very athletic at all i never was um but i'm working my way up so i was telling her like my concerns with the class the building compared to Orange Theory is smaller, so I was a little bit nervous about that for health reasons and also for just like insecurity reasons. The lights are bright as hell, like bright light everywhere. If you're used to going to Orange Theory, you know how much of a difference. It's like a big juxtaposition. Like Orange Theory is very dark with like just orange orbs everywhere. That room is like fluorescent lighting. Definitely a jump scare for me, but I am going to try to go. I am planning on going like the second week of November just to test it out. They give you one class for free, so I wanted to do that just to see what's up at F45. So I am planning on doing that. I did my little 12, 330. It kind of turned into 10, 2.5. 25. I did that for the majority of the time. I just popped a Tylenol because your girl is going through it right now okay i wasn't planning on doing a workout class in the middle of my cycle but here i am and i'm not backing down i actually need to clean my house it's real bad like real real bad i have <laughs> trash bags i need to throw this out i need to throw that one out too there's just stuff randomly everywhere the dog is over me this has been sitting here for longer than i'd like to admit it's the rest of my clothes that i need to wash the pillows are everywhere because he takes them off and I throw them back on in no particular order. These are clean. <laughs> and then my room. Oh my God, I filmed a video today. So that's just going on there. Random tripod on the bed. I have like a workout set that I was planning on <laughs> wearing but decided not to. Random sweatsuit. I got my Stanley. 
I got a deodorant cap and the deodorant is out there. <laughs> like it's just a mess in here, you guys. So I am going to clean up a little bit. Having a dog, especially right now in the change of the season, I basically vacuum every single day. He has a grooming appointment for next week. So hopefully after next week, he will be shedding a little bit less. But I honestly, it's late. I don't feel like waking up my downstairs neighbor. I don't even know if you can hear the vacuum down there, but I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm gonna leave them alone for tonight. I'm just gonna do everything except for vacuum. Let's get to it because this is, I'm disgusted. <laughs> hey, they act like they know. Uh, Guess I gotta hit them with an the update. Okay. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Hit it when you went the front gate. They act like they know. Hold on. Guess I gotta hit them with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a flow and hit them with the one take. Act like they know. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Okay. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Yes, sir. Hit it when you at the front gate. Act like that. No. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Uh, kill a flow and hit him yeah. with the one take. Please tell me what's to them boys. I know they ain't talking about me. Hold on. All up in the DMs for the feature, I know they ain't talking about free Shout it, no lie, no leap, I ain't gonna lose no sleep You don't have in this G, what you gonna sow, you gonna reap Bet I'm gonna kill what I eat by the end of this beat Put a little honey in my tea, put a little pep in your step I bet on my soul, we feast Bet she don't go, I bet you don't know these freaks Got a hit in that note on key Put it on baby, on mammy, on God, on me You not no G, I be in the spot low key I been at the crib, probably wonder how I got your key They act like they ain't no Guess I gotta hit him with an update. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Hit it when you went the front gate. They act like they know. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a flow and hit him with the one take. Act like they know. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Hit it when you went the front gate. Act like they know. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a flow and hit him with the one take. Tell me what's to these lanes, they must be out of they mind must be. All up in that face trying to hit up. I know he ain't talking about mine Put on that work on my grind Put in that purple in my lung, I'm putting that work on her spine Put a little drink on my tab Long as she working that back, I ain't hurting, I'm fine I bet I go earn it right back Just hit up my jack, got him working my line I stay in my lane, I ain't even tripping off yours I'm too worried about mine, you not on no rise Ain't having no motion, we so tired of your lies Ain't one of your guys can't fit in my shoes, little buddy, them not of your size They act like they ain't no Guess I gotta hit him with the update okay. I have been getting to it when I'm up late Hit it when you went the front gate They act like they ain't no Guess I gotta hit him with the update Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade Kill a flow and hit him with the one take Act like they ain't no Guess I gotta hit him with the update uh -huh. I have been getting to it when I'm up late yes, Hit it when you went the front gate They act like they ain't no Guess I gotta hit him with the update favorite things from them they have this waffle but i usually just get it with powdered sugar so i got a waffle and then i also got this sandwich it's a bagel everything bagel with bacon egg and cheese this one looks a little bit burnt today but that's okay and then i actually didn't even get coffee from there because i have the starbucks like Oh, you know what? I got these cups from Home Goods a couple, like I think a month or two ago. Look how cute they are. I actually had one last year. This is the one that I had from last year, but I found the clear version of them this year. And the coffee I've been buying over and over again this fall is the pre-made version of the pumpkin spice latte. It tastes exactly like the ice version, and it's basically the size of a venti. I think it's like five or six dollars for this whole thing. And I usually get like four or five drinks out of this. So definitely worth the money. So I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. Honestly, probably take a nap and 
I have Orange Theory later on tonight at 7 p.m. I'm definitely gonna get the floors because I thought I ran out of Swiffer pads for underneath the mop, but I found two more in my house, so I'm so glad because I didn't feel like going to the store to get them because my floors are disgusting, so I need to sweep and mop. So my dog's hair gets stuck inside of that door. I don't know how so much hair is collecting in there, so this is so ghetto, but I'm literally gonna take a takeout fork <laughs> and try to take it out. This is the door. <laughs> Look at that, ew, what? How does he have this much hair? first class back in over a year I'm so nervous I'm so so nervous I'm going to one of my favorite coaches from last year using the coconut hair and body mist because nothing is more important to me than smelling good while I'm sweating my ass off finally cleaned my kitchen this is like one of my last loads of laundry so I'm super excited this is the fit got the Gymshark set on got my Nike Nike free runs I think let's go Work my ass off. I'm back in my bag, yo. Conscious. Iso. Dumb. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. And we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. Good morning, you guys. I walked the dog. I ended up having an Amazon package. I literally just got a DVD player for my smart TV. A couple of months ago when I moved into this apartment, I bought a DVD player thinking that it was gonna connect. And actually it's not because all smart TVs now use like HDMI ports instead of those three ports that I normally use, which I did not know. So I basically bought a DVD player for nothing, but I have a new one. I tried to get like a converter and everything for the other one. It just was not doing what it was supposed to do. One of my comfort movies is Kill Bill and I could not watch Kill Bill on my TV. It like wiped off of every streaming platform that I could think of. I just figured I could just get it on DVD. It was really cheap. I think it was like under $10 on Target and I got Kill Bill 1 and 2. And now I can actually watch them because I got the correct DVD player. So I got that and I got some knee braces. Actually, let me open this. Hopefully it works. It looks like it does work. These are knee braces by Cambivo. Hopefully these work as well because I have Hell Week coming up and I recently have been having like an arthritis flare up. Nothing's gonna stop me from doing this Hell Week, y'all. Ooh, I really hate this material. Grippy stuff, but honestly, I'm gonna put it over leggings. So hopefully this is fine. I actually had... Buggy, he has my sock. Why? It's like living with a toddler. Like I was saying, I went to Orange Theory um, already and I didn't have any problems with my knees, so hopefully I won't, but just in case, I got these. I am about to go to my nail salon. I actually have never been to this nail salon. It's the girl that did my nails for my birthday. Um, she just opened her own salon a couple of months ago, so I figured I would go. I'm not getting my nails done today, but I am getting my toes done because tomorrow, Brittany is getting married. I'm super excited. I just can't have my toes looking crusty dusty. Even if nobody sees me, like, I will see them and I am embarrassed for myself. I haven't had a pedicure since my birthday, which was in August, so I'm definitely due for one. And then afterwards, I actually am getting a wax girl. Nobody's gonna be seeing me but me, but... It's important. If you know, you know. Getting a wax is just like resetting your entire life. You go in there hating your life and you go out saying, see you in four weeks, babe. But I'm super excited to get my toes done. Everybody that she hired seems like they are extremely skilled and talented. So I'm super excited to get my toes done. I might even go crazy, get a little French, you know, I don't know. She's feeling, she's feeling cute. no staring well. Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel. 
Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring it to the hood. Like she carrying silver when she keep on turning head. Cause when she woke that thing, jiggle, jiggle. And we going back to back on them like we Huey and we Riley. This that back in my back flow, we back again so highly. This that back in my back flow, we back to change the climbing. This that back in my back flow, we bring the force. What's up, you guys? Just got back. I got my toes done. Just got my wax. I'm feeling good and fresh. I ended up going to Starbucks and getting just a pink drink. And there was a security guard inside of Starbucks. And he came up to me because I'm wearing, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, little Ugg slipper situation. And my toes are out. And I just got them done. So he walked away from the counter and then came back because it was slow inside of Starbucks. And he came up to me and he's like, I'm feeling the toes. And I'm like, Thank you. I didn't want to assume that it was going to be weird, you know, because people have a little toe fetish out here. So I'm like, okay, thanks. But then he just kept talking about my toes and I was just looking at him like, the Starbucks employee that was making my drink was like, what about her nails? Because he thought I was talking about my fingernails and I looked at him and I'm like, it's my toes. And he's like, oh, this is getting awkward. And then like, I just stopped responding because he was still talking about my little piggies. And I was just like, do you want him or no? Like, I'm confused. But anyways, that was my day. My only other agenda for today is to take these braids out later on. But honestly, I want to lay down and watch a couple videos before I do so. I might even watch Halloween Town today. They've been live streaming Halloween Town for free on YouTube. I do have Disney Plus, but I think because like it's their 25th anniversary this Halloween, they are live streaming every single Halloween Town movie. So if you are not on it already, go get on it. Actually, I'm planning on getting my hair done again. I was going to get it done for Britney's wedding, but it didn't work out. The scheduling wasn't lining up. So I'm just going to take them out, have like a natural little middle part, little bun for tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to get my nails done for November, maybe December, but I am planning on getting my hair done in November. So maybe I'll do like a whole little glow up self-care moment and just get everything done and i think i'm finally gonna suck it up and get like smaller braids i always tell myself to get bigger braids because as you guys can see my grow out is like literally crazy that's why i'm wearing this headband and i've only had the braids in for like four weeks so i figure if i get smaller braids i'm just now coming to this conclusion if i get smaller braids the grow out will still be the same because my hair grows so quick but it will look a little bit more put together and presentable because honestly even if i wasn't going to her wedding tomorrow i would want to take these out soon the the grow out is crazy which i'm not mad about like i we love healthy hair we love a growing queen but like this i just paid for these you know you know i do love the color don't get me wrong but i'm i'm ready to go back to black as amy winehouse would say okay so i'm excited to get my hair done again but for right now we're gonna go all natural so let me lay down relax for a little bit drink my pink drink and i'll be back to take out my hair and watch some halloween movies It is Friday. I'm running really, really late. I had a crazy morning, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit for the wedding. So here is the dress. It's actually from Fashion Nova. It is sheer on the bottom, the very bottom, and the arms, and it's off the shoulder. I did 
extremely light makeup because I had like 10 minutes to do it after everything that happened this morning. I have been getting my life together this morning, so I had to do a quick little rush, did a quick little slick back. I am not wearing these Crocs. I'm wearing a pair of strappy heels, but I put the Crocs on to drive. So I'm gonna go head out. I have my coffee here to wake me up. I didn't get very much sleep last night. Got my little Brendan Blackwood clutch to go with my dress. And then everything else, including the shoes, I'm gonna put inside my Telfar just to have in the car. But I'm gonna take the clutch inside. Let's go watch Brit get married. <laughs> in the morning this video is so unhinged i took a nap after britney's wedding and i have work all day like 12 hour shift tomorrow i should not be awake but i just wanted to document that i finally got the right dvd player you guys the one i showed you earlier in the vlog it works my dvd finally works and i'm gonna watch a little bit of kill bill while i straighten up my house and get ready for tomorrow's shift even though i shouldn't I just, I can't leave it like this. I cannot believe I finally got the right one. I don't know what to do with myself. 